Hey guys, Big Son here with another Watch Mojo reaction video here. Because obviously Transformers Rise of the, Rise of the Beast is coming out here, they're making uh, a there's obviously a rise, no pun intended, of Transformers related top 10 videos. And this one here, top 10 Beast Transformers. Now, when I think Beast Transformers, I think exclusively with Beast Wars. But there have been other times after Beast Wars where we had Transformers that, yeah, went Beast Mode, had a Beast Mode here. Heck, after Beast Wars, there was the other cartoon that revamped the whole Autobot Decepticons, where it's Autobot and Predacons, where, yes, we had um, Transformers Wars in the Skies, which was in the early 2000s. And yet, it had, so Megatron had already, not just a dragon beast mode, but he had like five forms. Between get dragon, he turns into a jet, he turns into a fist, this robot, and another one here. And then when he became Galvatron, he had, he got five additional forms. So this guy was transformed to ten forms, which... Yeah, like, I, I had the toy. I still have a toy of that Megatron, and, well, yeah, it's, it's just, the Galvatron is just the, re, it's just the recolored of Megatron. You can still turn him into the various uh, other Galvatron forms. Like, I turned him to the, I turned uh, Megatron into the Woolly Mammoth mode, which appeared. So, yeah. <laughs> I still remember that time, the episode where, at the end, where he appeared here. Tremble with fear! I am Galvatron! <laughs> But yeah, there's a lot here, of course. We're gonna have to get, like, the Transmetals in Beast Wars. And of course, where Megatron, Beast Wars Megatron, became a dragon. Thanks to Megatron's, uh, OG Megatron Spark. Uh, there's a, quite a bit here. Let's, let's take a look. Uh, we got, obviously, got starting off with Transformers and Dinobot here. You betrayed me. Treachery keeps the witch sharp. Keeps the keeps the witch. Oh. Today we'll be counting down our oh, that hurts. Code of Honor. Dinobot and Dev Charge were my favorite characters in Beast Wars. So then both both died. I mean, they died awesomely. I mean, this episode here, Code of Honor, Dinobot died a warrior, like Optimus Primal said here. You saved the lives of those who live here and those who are still to come. Yeah. And... Death Charge killing Rampage. Right, Rider John, right through the core of his twisted spark. Picks for the top 10 Transformers Beasts. I live. Oh, yes. I live! <laughs> yes. Tiger Hawk. Oh, they say. <laughs> yep. Air Razor. We failed to maximize our list by including. Maximize. <laughs> oh God, that was terrible. <sighs> Number ten. Optimus All right, that was the original. The great ape leader of the Maximals, the Beast. There was there. They did make a prequel comic to show that to show what vehicle modes. Uh, that the out of the Maximals and Predacons had before they had to adopt these beast modes. And then, yeah, like this scene right here, it Optimus pretty much states why they need the beast modes. It's like they they just there was so much raw energon here. It was as he they as he said, we may need energon to live, but this is too much of a good thing. East Era's Autobot descendants. Optimus Primal has plenty in common with his namesake. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Remember, these beast forms are to protect us from the long-term effects of the energon fields out there. Yep. We may need energon for power, but this is too much of a good thing. Yeah. Like Optimus Prime, Primal is... Yes, Cybertron Trojan got to see that. ...fires his crew and knows how to deliver a stirring speech. Yeah. However, he's much more down to earth. Mm -hmm. Beast the machines flying over it. Also, his borderline religious zealot phase and beast machines. Yeah. Are so weird. Yeah. Eh, I mean, that was kind of the point in Beast Machine. I mean, they found the Oracle. 
like this, that's what it's called, the Oracle. So, and it turned him into this here. So, like, kind of, yeah, he's kind of discovered a bit of religion and stuff like that here with all this talking to the Allspark. <laughs> if you want to survive, you must allow the Oracle to reformat you. Yeah. Most of the time, Optimus is willing to hear out ideas from his fellow Maximals. And he even has a wry sense of humor. He's a fantastic yeah. character, but the franchise is stacked with a ton of great beast transformers. <laughs> yeah, man, show us, show us, show us it. This, that's just prime. <laughs> Rampage. Yes, Protoform X. Has a few beast characters named Rampage, but for our purposes, we'll be discussing the one from Beast Wars. Originally yeah, he was Protoform X, terrifying. Rampage was a maximal experiment to create an immortal spark. My spark. Yeah, an immortal spark based on uh, Starscream's unique me spark mutation. Instead, you made a psychopath. Yep, uh, the CGI works great here. Unfortunately, they were successful. A deranged cannibalistic psychopath, Rampage is a bot so vile he makes even the Maximals' enemies, the Predacons, whom he later joins, look well, nice by comparison. He was forced to join here because Megatron. Oh boy, yeah. I want to see if he gets to that. Reveling in violence and the pain of others, Rampage is like if Hannibal Lecter was a Transformer. Yeah, pretty much. You how much I like ants, huh? Especially fried in a subtle blend of mech fluid and creepy oh. and creepy. <laughs> yes. and he isn't laughing maniacally. Rampage is a oh, when he made a death charge there. Human. Another scene. Says a crab slash robot slash tank. Tank, yes. Is lovely. But where is your terror? It would make this so much more amusing. He had no terror for you. Grimlock. Grimlock. One of the earliest yeah. and most frequently appearing Transformers beasts. That's true, the Dinobots. It's been a staple of the franchise since the OG 80s cartoon. Me, Grimlock Stronger. Me, Grimlock Must Lead. Most often able to transform into a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Grimlock is usually the leader of the Dinobots, a subgroup of Autobots that naturally turn into dinosaurs. Me, Grimlock. Say execute them. Grimlock may not always be huh? the most eloquent wordsmith. Yeah, but only speaking in simple sentences and in the third person, but him Grimlock always beat bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, to do it. talk like him. Regardless of the uh, general animated, yeah. The way they brought, brought him is pretty cool. Is an iconic Autobot and a powerful warrior. Dinobots not need robots to fight. Dinobots destroy robots. Number seven. Rat Trap, the team asshole. Maximals resident doomsdayer, Rat Trap is a consummate pessimist. Yes, so, uh, is this your first day in a job or what? Shut up, Rat Trap. Oh, yes, sir. You know, I can feel heaps better knowing that our lives are your capable hands. We're all gonna die. How does <laughs> that line? He probably thinks they're all gonna die. Yes. To be fair, they have a lot of crazy plans. Uh huh. Trap, much like the rodent he turns into, may seem small and weak, yet he can be pretty fierce when pushed. And scrappy. <laughs> Only for space drive parts. It is a Predacon ship and still very dangerous. Yeah. Then uh, what say we make old Chopper Face go first? Oh, top her face. Yeah. And demolition, that is true. Trap may not enjoy taking on Predacons head on, but he can still do a ton of damage. Yeah, look, we did that here. I like the episode where he saved Cheetor from Tarantulas. <laughs> uh, Tried to last words of that episode. I hate that rat. Red Trap's sarcastic nature and tendency to hold a grudge make him a source of frustration for his comrades. We wouldn't have him any other way. Though. Yeah, I... he's hilarious. He's an Number asshole. Six. Black arachnia. Okay. Yeah, like it's all gonna be. Generally in short supply. And yeah, it's gonna be mostly. One of the best. Beast Wars, of course.
<laughs> Whoa, you'll be fine. A femme fatale and brilliant scientist, the various versions of Black Arachnia have fought for Maximals, Predacons, Autobots, and Decepticons alike. With lots of overlap mm -hmm. between them. Yep, anim Transformers animated. Wait, you don't leave. Black Arachnia, I want you to return with me to the Maximals. Uh, get a clue, you canine. Yes, person. dumb. Yeah, even even Silverbolt's actor <laughs> says that he's as dumb as a bag of hammers. She has been both a villain with a softer side as well as a hero with an edge. Yep. Black Arachnia has also been involved in one of the better Transformer romances when she falls yeah, for the paragon of heroism. And yeah, stupid, to. stupid para, 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 heroism. You are, after all, a Predacon. <laughs> Black Arachnia uh. leaves a tangled <laughs> web, but it's one we love to watch unravel. Number five. Rhinox. A true renaissance bot, Rhinox can do it all. Optimus Primal's right-hand rhino, Rhinox, is level-headed and likes to take things slow. Except yep. when a crisis is happening. Well done, old friend. Steady nerves and quick thinking. Yeah, and when he turned to a Predacon? Well, I'm serious. If you ever wanted to, you'd make one prime leader. Thanks anyway, but I'll leave that sort of thing to you. Not only is he the team's engineer and all-around tech-savvy genius, but Rhinox also has a spiritual side. Yeah. Realizing his comrades and everything from the nature of their existence. The episode where they, where they went blind. blind. Yep, I remember that. Five, three, seven. As if that weren't enough, the big guy is, well, a big guy. Yeah, he he's strong. Act as the Maximals' muscle if need be. Those twin chain guns of doom aren't too shabby either. Yep, and uh, and they're like unlimited ammunition here. Number four. Like I remember the episode where he was hit with one of like the energy discharge virus. And he was waiting outside the base here for Rat Trap and Dinobot to stop fighting and just oh, the spent shell case things on his feet. It's like, you could hold him off forever, all right? Like, how many bullets you got in that thing? Waspinator. Waspinator. There have been few Transformers or indeed characters in any medium as unlucky as Waspinator. Yeah, poor guy. They. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, this guy gets torn apart like crazy. Agile in the air, Waspinator's brain, or the robot equivalent, is Processor. less speedy. Dim-witted and prone <laughs> to speaking in the third person, Waspinator is a worker drone that Megatron uses for any task too dangerous for someone important. Waspinator happy with the end of Alien Machines. <laughs> and Optimus Primer, too. I am good, aren't I? But we can discuss my brain. Oh boy! Now there is work to be done, and it's a good thing. Yeah, you feel sorry for that for that little guy. He's like, why does the universe hate Waspinator? And I'm still wondering how he got from prehistoric Earth back to like mock future Cybertron. I mean, he then took yeah, he's trying to leave. It took forever, but thing too. Since Waspinator has a habit of getting injured, blown up, or completely disassembled. Yeah, the episode where uh, uh, that scene was different. Think I'm getting blown up scrap all the time. He just quit. <laughs> Even Rat Trap mentions he's got so many pieces of, of, of Waspinator from his Smash Bread collection. Often in over the top ways. Even the <laughs> versions of him that are slightly more competent still end up scrapped. Two heads can just pucker their mandibles and black big wet juicy one right. <laughs> 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 Get blast him. He's the perpetual punchline to many physical yeah. comedy bits, and we love him for it. Number yeah. three. Tarantulas. Tarantulas. Tarantulas is a creepy crawly mad scientist. Yep. But there's a method to his madness. Oh yep. Yeah. Beginning of the end. 
This arachnid may be the resident science expert for the Predacons, but as many Either. times as he fights against the Maximals, he also works against his fellow Preds, both yeah. and covertly. You're insane. So they say. <laughs> yeah, that is. is kind of the M.O. of villainous Transformers, but... That's part of the, yeah, the whole thing. Game, Tarantulas may be the king of duplicitous bots. Yeah, he was also a member of the Predacon secret police. And he heavily implies that he is a direct descendant of Unicron because he's he, when Tyler Silver Bolt when he got when he got Tigerhawk chained up there in that scene here, he explains that look, destroying the Ark will only will only threaten those who, who are descendant of Autobots and Decepticons. But he and members of the Tripodicus Council have uh, different origins. He's a complete wild card with a sinister voice and a yep. delightfully evil cackle. The yep. Is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the destiny of Cybertron itself. Yeah. Yep. Plus, his schemes and plots often drive the plot nearly as often as the Predacon's leader. Yep. Pretty which, much. Go to him. Two. Megatron. Megatron. We took the nemesis. Megatrons, but only oh, then about two. Turn into a T Rex and a dragon. Yes! God, I wanted the toy. The leader of the Predacons, this Megatron may go full ham, but he earns the right to indulge. Yes! Yes! Able to yes. Not only the Maximals, but also his own treacherous underlings, Megatron is charismatic, powerful, and pragmatic. Yep! From now on, I must play this carefully. Very. Yes, I loved his response when he uh, in, in, in the season, season finale of season one. When he realized what the aliens were doing here, they're gonna call a chain reaction. They will rip apart this planet just to get rid of us. What sheer ruthlessness! What disregard for sentient life! I rather like these aliens. <laughs> His plans may get foiled time and time again. Optimus Prime. This. To get some impressive victories. Ooh, well, boy, his monologuing that scene. Optimus Primal and Prime. Yep. Over Cybertron and nearly destroying reality itself. Ooh, boy, yeah. Oh, a magnificent villain. The Time Storm. Yes. Unleash the storm of vengeance. Farewell. Oh, this moment here was like, holy shit. We get to our top pick. Ravage. A few honorable mentions. Ravage. Who knew a cat that can turn into a cassette would be this cool? I served under the original Megatron. You have his name, but not his army. Depth charge. Really? Consumed by revenge. <laughs> Feeling all right, pussy cat. Depth charge was so cool. The spotted heck are you? Names. Depth charge. Air razor. The Maximals' aerial ace always comes in clutch. You're Rhinox. How'd you know? I, I'm not sure. But yeah. I think I owe you my life. Yeah, I know. They made a transmetal version of Air Razor, but. Yeah, she, she, couldn't, she and Tigertron couldn't become uh, transmetal here due to their resistance they've developed while floating in Earth's orbit. Let's say we're even. Inferno. An insane brute. I had the toy. Thinks he's an ant. How did they come up with this guy? Y yeah. Tarantulas uh, explained that his beast mode has somehow overtake taken his robot mode, so it it thinks it's a real insect. Oh, I wish I could explain that better. Look, was it damage? Allow me to introduce you. Yeah, and while his eagerness often gets him in trouble, yeah, the kid. he's still root for this guy. Cheater, maximize. Cheater to Optimus. Optimus is on his way. He said you should get out of there. No can do, baby blue. Before we continue, okay. be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. To yeah, I'm glad Cheetor finally matured after the everything that happened to him with uh, especially when he went from uh, Transmetal Transmetal Two, 
matured. And then the events of Beast Machines, which he came into a leader. Get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. Dinobot. There are a lot yes, of Yes, my furry favorite the character. The first one to bear the moniker as his name deserves our top spot. Yes. Originally a Predacon, Dinobot joins the Maximals after some disagreements with Megatron. Attention Maximals. My name is Dinobot. I have left the Predacons to join your group as leader. Dinobot's <laughs> yeah. values often clash with his comrades, particularly Rat Trap, with whom he shares a mutual hate-hate relationship. Hate-hate hate relationship, he's yeah. He's a character and betrays the Maximals on a <laughs> few occasions. From this moment on, that a Maximal no more. Yeah, he's very Shakespearean. Dinobot ultimately proves to not only be an honorable warrior, yeah. but also one of the greatest Transformers in history, valiantly fighting off every Predacon to protect the future at the cost of his life. That was... That was like, wow. Arrest. Be silent. Oh, Dinobot. What a hero thou hadst been. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy this video? Yeah. Let's check out these other clips. He was a hero. I'm tearing up just remembering that. Oh, God. That was impactful. So, yeah. Uh, unsurprising that uh, it was mostly Beast Wars machines with one uh, G1 with Dinobot with the Grimlock and everything. That makes sense. I would, I was, I would have loved that they've had mentioned some other ones as well. Again, like I mentioned, the uh, Megatron from Robots in Skies. They were the first one here. The, there was that here. Come on. But yeah, it's Optimus Primal, and oh god. So, whew. all right, everyone. Uh, I need a need a moment here. So, thanks for watching. As always, kind of what you all thought. Like that for more videos. Till next one. This is Maxon. Logging out.